Hey guys, Tezza here and I'm back with Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today's um, plan is I'm going to go to the Lion King realm, um, Simba's realm, because I need um, to get Simba and Nala for some of my uh, star path duties. So I need um, Simba for spending time with the King of Pride Rock and I need Nala because I need to chat to her. So um, that is the plan for today. And then if I get time, um, maybe I will try and do a um, a friendship quest, one of these, get one of these done, or at least another bit of it um, sort of complete. So yeah. But that is the plan. So I am going to go straight to Simba's realm. Must everyone and do that. Is, uh, so I think I've nearly opened all of the realms now. I think I've just got the other one the other side. Um that is, yeah, that's Simba's here, yep. And then I think above it well, is um, Be in the Beast realm, I think. So I think that's all I've got left, Be in the Beast and Monsters, Inc. Um, I think so. Um, right, you'll find a majestic African savannah. Yes, please, let's open it up. You may now visit the world. Good. Eyes in the dark. Okay. So that is a Nala quest. So I wonder if we get Nala first. Oh, look at him. Okay, so it's like a the hyena <gasps> area. Right, no, I'm not. hi, I'm Tether, and you must be your. <laughs> Please don't eat me. Uh, nice kitty, stay back, girl. <laughs> Trust me, I probably wouldn't taste very good. What? You don't seem threatening. You can talk? Of course. And you can understand me. Hey, I guess that means you're really not going to eat me. I was just trying to scare you off. I thought you were another hyena. There are hyenas around here? You see those eyes glowing in the dark all around us? There's a whole pack of them. They've been tracking me ever since my mate Simba and I set out from the Pride Land. Hmm. Maybe I can help you get rid of them. Well, you can either do that or keep out of my way. It's up to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> my name's Nala, by the way. <laughs> what are you doing here? Tell me more. I can't. Let me go through these then. What are you doing here? Trying to get a little rest. Simba's king of Pride Land, and we needed a bit of a break from all the royal stuff. Oh. He wanted to show me more of the jungle where he grew up with his friends Timon and Pumbaa. Mm -hmm. We got separated not long ago and I'm supposed to meet him in this jungle, mm -hmm. but I don't want to lead a pack of angry hyenas right to him. Uh -huh. Tell me more about the hyenas. The hyenas have been mad at us ever since we forced them away from Pride Rock. Their numbers are dwindling, there aren't as many as there were back when their leader Scar was here, but there are still enough of them to cause a lot of trouble. We need to throw them off our trail. Uh, what can I do to help? I can hold the hyenas off for a bit, but there are a lot of them. If there was some way to block the path so they can't follow us, that would help. There are a lot of thorn bushes around here. I'll bet the hyenas wouldn't want to get tangled in those. They wouldn't, but how would we get them to the middle of the path? Huh. I bet my trusty warring can might be able to help us. 
You sure that's going to work? You're just going to have to trust me on this one. If you can hold those hyenas, I'll plant some seeds for the thorns and water them until they grow. Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. It's magic. I don't know what that is, but you can explain it later. <laughs> I'll, hold, I'll hold off the hyenas as long as I can. I just hope you know what you're doing. Bye. Okay. She seems a bit meaner than I thought she would. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, right, dig out the dried thorn bushes to find some thorn bush seeds. Okay. Uh, what am I digging out? Thorn bushes. I'll see. should give us enough. Okay. Plant the seeds in the holes near the ledge in the dried out oasis, then water them until they grow. Okay, was that the seed? jumped over the thorns. Good. Right. Okay, talk to Nala. Hello. I can't believe that worked. Mm. The thorns are too dense for the hyenas to get through. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just sit and wash yourself. <laughs> well, you just held off a whole pack of hyenas all on your own. Can I start a Nala fan club? Now it's time to find Simba... They must be pretty pathetic hinds. Now it's time to find some. <laughs> right, we'll have to head deeper into the jungle. Huh. Now it's my turn to help you. You should stick close to me for a bit. Even without the hyenas, the jungle has its dangers. Hmm. I don't know where you fall on the food chain, but your teeth and claws aren't very sharp, and you look kind of squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am squishy. <laughs> You've hardly got any fur. Is that normal for your species? Uh, yep, I'm human. Aww. A human, huh? I've never seen any of you around the waterhole. Well, welcome. And like I said, stick close to me. Because <laughs> I'm squishy. <laughs> a lot of things in this jungle might want to turn you into a meal. Good to know. I'll watch out. Aww. Looks like we're not going anywhere fast. There's a huge dried stump blocking our way into the jungle. Don't worry, maybe another one of my royal tools can remove that. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Uh, what am I doing? Find a way into the cave so you can reach the jungle. Into the cave. Okay. Oh, okay, so I guess this is the way that we've got to go. Um, can I, I guess I can't dig it, can I? I can't dig Oh, I can! <laughs> I didn't think I could dig them, because they're, they're pretty big, but yeah. Okay. I'm 
I'm in the cave, so... Yep, okay, found a way to the jungle. This is gorgeous! Wouldn't it be lovely to have this kind of biome in the actual valley? Like a proper jungle biome with a gorgeous river and everything. That's lovely, because we've got the forest and we've got the glade. But like a tropical jungle, this kind of... with the waterfall. Ah, oh, it'd be lovely. Okay, right, I'm getting distracted. Let's talk to Nala. Hmm, I don't see Simba. But the good news is, I don't see anything around here that would want to eat you either. <laughs> uh, that's a relief. Maybe I can help you look for Simba. I'm a little insulted. I'm a buffet and a half. <laughs> I, <laughs> a buffet and a half, okay. Um, that's a relief. Maybe I can help you look for Simba. That would be great. It is a pretty big jungle. I'll look around here. Why don't you look for Simba on the other side of the river over there? I'll need to find some way to get across. Maybe if I could knock over those logs. Hey, Simba won't think I'm a hyena out to get him like you did, right? I don't want another misunderstanding. If you aren't a threat, he's very friendly. If he bears his teeth, just say, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> He'll know you're a friend. Okay, here goes nothing. Right, okay, so I need to... Find a way to lower the log near the waterfall. Oh, this is lovely. I like this area. Oh, look, are there little bugs up there on the rocks? Oh, they are. Okay, right, so what have I got to do? Lower the, lower the log. sure what I'm looking for. Lower the, hang on, find a way to lower the log near the watering fall. Water, uh, waterfall. <laughs> watering fall. Oh dear. Waterfall. Oh, okay, the log over there. I might just be really stupid. I can't see a log. I feel like I am being stupid. That's the way I came. Right, okay. So the only log I can see is over there. I feel like I'm being really stupid. I don't know where the, what the log I'm trying to um, get. Um, oh, that one? That is that a log? Big log? Do I need to? dig anything up. Um, I feel like maybe that is the log up there. Ah, what about um, 
there's anything I can... Ah! Okay. Maybe I was being a bit stupid. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, I was being a bit stupid. I didn't see the log up there. That, that's why. Right, okay, so I can go up here and across now. Yep, I can. The thing is, I was looking for like a, a normal, like a log uh, that actually went into the water and across, not up here. <laughs> so, here. Uh, right, so I'm looking for timber. Uh, talk to Simba. There he is. <laughs> uh oh, I think I scared Simba. What did Nala tell me to say to calm him down? <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Huh? Did you just say Hakuna Matata? Mm -hmm. I did. Are you a friend of Timon and Pumba? Actually, I'm a friend of Nala. She sent me to find you. <laughs> Nala, I've been looking all over the jungle for her. She's waiting on the other side of the river. Oh, Wow, thanks for the help. Any friend of Nala's is a friend of mine. <laughs> oh, and uh, sorry about roaring at you before. Hmm. With all these hyenas around, we can't be too careful. Hey, no worries. It's always good to be prepared. Just don't roar at me like that again, okay? <laughs> uh, no worries. <laughs> yeah, you certainly know Timon and Pumbaa's motto. I think you'd get along pretty well with them. Why don't we go and see Nala? She's right near the entrance to the jungle. Ah. Great, let's go. Thanks. on a something rock duck again yay oh look how happy he is Nala I'm glad to see you me too I've missed you and I could have used some help fending off those hyenas well it looks like you handled it just fine on your own are you okay yes but fighting off a pack of hyenas does make you work up Quite an appetite. I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole zebra. Not a lot of zebras around here, but don't worry, I think I know just the thing. So I might need some help from Tether to put it together. Okay. Wait, Simba, you better not be talking about. Trust me, I promise you'll find them slimy yet satisfying. Oh, uh, I gotta go around and get bugs, have I? Talk to Simba. Hey, okay. good to see you. It's ya. great being back here with Nala. Last time we didn't get to explore much. Mm. I want to do something special for her. Show her what life was like for me with Timon and Pumba. Oh. And a special occasion in the jungle always calls for grubs. Grubs? Wait, like. Bugs? Uh, that sounds tasty. Ew, yuck. As long as I don't need to eat any. <laughs> Ew, yuck. Yeah, that's what Nala thinks too. But I bet you'll both change your minds. Hmm. I'll just need some help finding everything. Uh -huh. There are some really slimy bugs that you can fish out the river around here. And there are some really colourful bugs just outside the jungle in the dried out oasis. Okay, I'll go collect those while you get everything ready here. So long. Okay. Right, so I guess there are the red bits there. Oh yeah, I think I've still got my potion on from getting the um, puffer fish. Or not, uh, they're not called puffer fish, are they? But... Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. Right, there you go. Why 
why won't it let me? Is it because I've got the charm potion? Push the sign back down for that. I'm guessing maybe I can't use the potion around here. Maybe. Um, I'll go and get the colourful bugs and then see what I can do. Uh, dry out oasis, so it's through here, isn't it? Back through the tunnel cave. Okay. Right, colourful bugs. Um, do I have to dig them, do you think? Them. Right. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to dig. I want to dig there. <laughs> they don't sound very nice. Oh no. Oh, what is wrong with me? They get. I feel like I need to um, go back. Oh, there's a chest there. Uh, let me just get this chest. Let me go back to the valley. Um, and I think I need to just fish and get rid of the potion. Um, I feel like maybe that's why. Colourful giraffe shirt. Okay. I, yeah, I feel like that might be why I can't fish. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll just, um, yeah, try and fish um, a few things. And then, oops. I don't know how long the um, potion lasts for, to be honest. I can't remember. Have I got any other, have I got any oops, other quests? Pick some fungi. No, I haven't got anything for fishing, have I? No, that's fine. I just wanted to double check, um, though I didn't have a fishing one. Uh, catch three fish from forgotten lands. Okay, I could do that. I've never um, actually fished in forgotten lands, so fish. Oh, let's quickly go to the gun. Yeah, so it lets me fish here, so I, I presume it is literally just because I've got the potion. Ooh, what's that? Anglerfish! Ooh, okay. Now this is a great day to play outside. Good. Right. Is right in my way as usual. This doesn't take too long to get rid of this um, potion. Oh, another one! Ah, okay. Right. Uh, let me just um, quickly do another one just so then I've got my dream light um, task done. It's a shame Ursula and um, Ariel can't be used for fishing. I know you can't give them duties because obviously they're in the water, but it would be good if they could be fishing buddies um, because they're in the water, so it would make sense to me, but, um, but they can't. I've tried. 
<laughs> and tried. There's no option to um, yeah to give them a, a duty, but fishing would be perfect for them because they're in the water. So um, so yeah, you, you'd think they'd be automatically assigned fishing buddies, and then you could just yeah you could just buddy up with them when you're fishing. But never mind. Right, let's quickly go back and get the slimy bugs. Back here, and then hopefully I'll get one of them on my back. I don't know if they both um, come together, or because I'm pretty much, oops, every single one, it's always one comes um, to live at your valley, and then the other one comes after another task so I presume that's how it would work here but I'm not sure Oops. okay maybe it wasn't because of that what am I doing wrong in the right place I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything to do with that then. Maybe I just wasn't in the right place before. Right, like bug number one. Oh sorry Nala. No, I think it was the enchantment maybe. I don't know. I'm bug number two, and I think the third one is right over there. Can you get it to me, please? Right, so I've got them all now. Let's give them to some hey other. There. Great job, but I think this mill could use more crunch. There are some red bugs over where you found me earlier. You'll have to dig up the stumps, so be careful. Once you've got the stumps out, the bugs will start running away. You'll have to be pretty fast to catch them. So oh, long. I thought go and catch bugs. Okay. Uh, remove the stump deeper in the jungle to find red bugs. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm no good at chasing things and catching them. Right, okay, near where I found him, so. There, that. I hate the things where I have to catch them. Oh dear. I'm just, I'm no good at it. I really am not good at... <sighs> no good at catching the things. It was the same with like the squirrels and everything else I've had to catch. Come back, come back, come back. Ah, oh, right. If I just keep pressing A while I run around, that seems to be a little bit... I was going to say that seems to work better, but then I try and pick up a thing, so maybe not. Oh, I'm so useless at this. I feel like I should have eaten a meal, so then I'd have the fast... Oops. I could, um, run faster than, like, five out of six. Where's that last one gone, then? Oh, he's over there. Come back. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Right, cook three bug platters. Okay, using the red bugs, colourful bugs, and slimy bugs. Yay. Right, okay, where was... I'm guessing there's somewhere to cook them. Where? I haven't seen anything. I haven't really looked, though, so I don't know 
I'm presuming there is somewhere where I can cook them. Where is a uh, a cook cooker? Here? Really? Oh. <laughs> okay, so a colourful bug. A crunchy bug or a red bug. And um, there's a slimy. And a slimy bug. Yummy. Oh wait. because see last time this happened it's because I had to yeah okay so oh okay I need two of okay let's just do that and do that there you go and then it'll let me <clears throat> oh I've got room uh what shall I drop uh let's drop let's drop the Yummy, okay. Yeah, I think it's because I didn't know. I didn't realise you needed two of each of those those ones, so I forgot I'd got six of them. So yummy. Three five star bug platters. Yummy. Right, bring the bug platter to Nala. Where's Nala gone? Okay, there you are. Hi. So these are the grubs that Simba loves so much. <laughs> I have to admit, they do look kind of tasty. I must be really hungry. Well, here goes. Hmm. The taste is... Is it like chicken? Very <laughs> pleasant. Uh, you'll learn to love it. Is it like chicken? I'm not sure, but I can see how Simba started to like it after a while. Yay! They're sort of crackly and squishy at the same time. Hey, did you hear that? Hear what? Shh, stay quiet and listen. I think it's more hyenas. I'm going to check. It's definitely hyenas, but this time it's not just a pack. It's as many as a herd. I counted hundreds of them. Simba and I can handle ourselves against some of them, but their numbers. There are just too many. We're completely surrounded. If only we had a herd of lions to fight them off. No, that's it. We may not have a herd, but we could trick them into thinking we do. How would we do that? We just make it we just need to make it sound like we have hundreds of lions in this jungle. I'm going to sneak back to my village and try to find something. I'll talk to Mr. McDuck. I'll bet he has something that would help. All right, Simba and I will try to hold back the hyenas, but please hurry. Goodbye. Okay, I will go and speak to Scrooge McDuck. Right, let's go to, oops, where am I going? Let's go to Scrooge McDuck's shop. Is Scrooge McDuck, come back. Come back. A minute of your time. Hi, hello. Uh, I don't know. You need what exactly? 
I need something to scare off a whole lot of hyenas. Maybe some sort of hyena repellent spray. <laughs> you don't happen to know where I can find a herd of lions, do you? A herd of lions? First, I don't know that think a group of lions is called a herd. Nah. <laughs> and second, though a few specific lions may not consider me lunch, I wouldn't entrust I wouldn't be trusting a whole army of them. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe an army of lion, lions isn't practical. But what about something to make a lot of noise so we can scare off the hyenas? If I could just turn the sound of two lions roaring into the sound of a hundred lions oh. roaring. <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you say so from the start? I've got an old sound system in the basement of my shop. I think it used to belong to someone goofy me. <laughs> it's in rough shape, but with a few repairs, it ought to be. It ought to do the trick. With that, I could amplify the sound of a couple of lions roaring, so it fills the whole jungle. Thanks, Mr. McDuck. I'll do some repairs and take this back to Nala. Okay. A minute. Bye bye. Uh, softwood, hardwood, iron ingots. Always iron ingots. Always. Every time. I need to just um, make a load and stockpile them. Because that's the one thing that I always need. And I never have. <laughs> I only have. I only ever have like one if I have them. And um, there's been quite a few times where I've had to make them. So yeah, maybe I'll just make a load. Is it loading? Yes. Ooh. A little help, if you would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Not right now, Mother Gothel. I'm busy. Right, I'm going to just make as many as I can. Maybe I'll make, like, of your time? Maybe I'll make 20. And then I've got lots. Yep, done. Okay, repair... Oh. <laughs> At the crafting station. <laughs> repair the... Um... System done. Okay, let's get back to Nala. I wonder what their houses look like. Ah, oh, it'd be so cool if we got Pride Rock. I'm guessing we don't. <laughs> but it'd be so cool if it was like a, a Pride Rock cave that they lived in. I need Pride Rock. <laughs> it's probably just a cave, I guess, isn't it? Okay. Ah, uh, right, where's... To the cave. There she is. Hi. What's this? It's a sound system. I'll get the speakers set up. Just think of it as a really big noisemaker. If you and Simba roar into the microphone as loud as you can, the noise will fill the whole jungle. The hyenas will think we've got an army of lions on our side. That should scare them away. Uh -huh. I guess it's worth a try. Say, can humans roar? If you roared with us, it would make it even louder. I guess oh. I could try. <laughs> Come on, let me hear you roar. <laughs> ah, meow. <laughs> roar. Yeah, not too bad, Tessa. <laughs> Maybe you've got a little lion in you after all. <laughs> I'll get the sound system set up. It's now or never. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Yay! 
I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> the hyenas cleared out as soon as they heard the sound of the roaring. I'm impressed, Tezza. And you've definitely made me curious about this place you come from. Why don't you come find out? It's called Dreamlight Valley. The villagers there are like my pride. There's lots there for you to explore. Everything the light touches there is mine. <laughs> There's a lot there for you to explore. I'd love to see new places. Though I do have one question. Hmm. Do you have any food besides grubs? <laughs> We've got lots of food. Zebra? Afraid not. Antelope? Sorry, none of that either. Hippo? What do you have? Why don't you come visit and find out? Huh? Is there a place there for lions to sleep? Good point. I'll get one set up for you. Mm. Then Simba and I will come visit as soon as it's ready. Oh, okay, they both come. You. Okay, yay. Place Pride. <gasps> we do get Pride Rock. Place Pride Rock in the village. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be big though, isn't it? I feel like it's going to be huge and I'm not going to be able to have it. Uh, where am I going to put it? it? Well, it needs to be in the sunlit plateau, really, doesn't it? Because that's kind of like sort of looks a bit like a savannah area. Um, okay. I'm so excited. Place the Pride Rock. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Right, okay, so it's definitely got to be uh, in Sunlit. Um, here somewhere. Right. Where am I going to put Pride Rock? I feel like maybe over, over there. Uh, right, let's just get it out and see how big it is and then cry because it won't fit anywhere. <laughs> wow, look at it! Oh, wow! Okay, right, let me back up a little bit. Right. Oh, actually, I've got this whole area, I've got this whole bit near Forgotten Lands as well, haven't I? Because I can get to this bit from Forgotten Lands. So I'm thinking... Because uh, eventually I will be able to get over here, won't I? So I feel like... Let's back up a bit more. I feel like over here in the corner might be quite nice. Over here. But I'm not sure I'll be able to move enough. Or even here. Not sure I'll be able to move enough of the things. To... Right, let's just go off of that. Right, let's. Is that one of the things we've got to move? I think I've been all... I'm not good at this at all. Right, let's just put that there. Can I move the bones? No, I can't. Okay, maybe. I can move this rock though. So maybe it'll have to go further over this way. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the tree and then I can move all them later on if I need to. Right, what's that? I can't move that either because that's a bone. not going to be able to put it there, am I? I don't think I'm going to be able to put it oops, there. Is it not? No. Oh, I really wanted it here or in this corner. Okay, maybe it's gonna have to go like here then. Um, I can't go there either, can it? Because of the bones. I need to figure out how to get rid of the bones, like so put it where I want. Um, okay, so would it go there if if I could move things? Okay. Okay, let's move. Oh, right. Let's move that rock back. But I'll put it over this. Oh, this is really difficult with the switch, with the Joy Cons. I feel like they need to be slower. Right. 
move, can I move this? Let's move that tree over here. Let's move that tree. Right, is there anything else I can move? Right, let's move that there. Not sure it's going to be able to fit between these two bones. I'm going to try though. I'm going to try. I want it over here. Okay, I want it. Just. Nope. Nope. It's not going to go, is it? I can't fit it to where I want. No, because it won't, it won't go where I want it to. So I want it uh, between the bones. Okay. What about if I move the things and put it here? Maybe it'll have to just go there. I don't know if there are bones there though. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, right, let's move that tree out of the way. Just messing up everything. I really wanted to over here, near the, like, where the... Not where the grass is, but... Never mind. Right. So, let's just move everything that I can move out of the way <coughs> rock Not too far right because there's no bones over here so it should fit of this flower. Right. Put that over there. Okay, right, let's try this. <laughs> it's not where I want it, but if it fits. Oh okay. I need to move whatever they are again. The is it wood. I think decorating would be a lot easier on the PC. I can see that that's one advantage of having it on the PC rather than um, a console because this is pretty difficult to do um, because the joy cons just seem so sensitive. Whereas obviously on a PC you can just click and point um, where you want things. Right, okay, can I now fit Pride Rock? Oh, right in the corner. Oh, why did that not... Why could I not... Yeah! Yay! Oh, I've just thought I've got to go, got to go over there now, haven't I? Right, let's just go over there. Right, and um, go over there. Get um, Scrooge McDuck to come and build it. Oh, okay, yeah, that won't be too bad. Um, I do think over there would have been better. But once I can remove these big bones, um, yeah, I'll probably move. I'll move Pride Rock then. Oh, greetings, <coughs> neighbor. Right. Uh, did you know that Pride Rock is the traditional home of the lions in this valley? <laughs> well, 
Unfortunately, the forgetting left the place overgrown and in a sorry state. <laughs> but don't fret, I can clear out anything dangerous for a modest fee, of course. Of course. Right, let's clean up the <laughs> rock. Yep. Sparkle me spats. <laughs> when I'm done with this place, it'll be fit for a king. Good. Welcome to Okay, welcome Nala. Yay. Oh, she looks so happy and scars in the background as well. That's quite funny. Oh, she closed her eyes. Oh, that'll, that'll be fine. Would you help me with something? I didn't want to pet. I wanted to. I didn't want to pet my toe. I wanted to talk to Nala. Ah, not Nala. Come back. Hi. Thank you. Wow, you weren't kidding about this place. It's beautiful. Say, where's Simba? Oh. He said he'd come to meet us soon. He wanted some time alone. The fight with the hyenas. I think it brought back some old memories about his father. Mm. Speaking of old memories, I think I've been here before. You used to live here, Nala, back before the forgetting. It might take a while for your memories, for all of your memories to come back. Just try to take it slow. This is amazing. I can't believe I ever forgot this place. It already feels like I have friends here. I hope Simba comes to join us soon. I'll go talk to him. For now, you just enjoy the village. Uh, you could explore the valley. You could find something to eat. You could start meeting the other villagers. Explore the valley. There's so much to see. I'll do some scouting and see what I find. There's just one thing I have to warn you about. What a nice day. Watch out for Scar. <gasps> Scar is here? That's... How is that possible? I watched him fall from Pride Rock and he can't have survived. He's pretty cunning. Anything is possible in Dreamlight Valley. Scar's not so bad. Um, anything is possible in Dreamlight Valley. The rules here, they're pretty different from anywhere else. Maybe this isn't quite the scar you remember. Huh. Oh, I guess there's a lot I don't understand about this place yet. <sighs> don't worry, I'll keep an eye on Scar. He's better. He better not try anything, or I'll put a stop to it. It's beautiful. Good. Okay, so I've got to go back. Oh, I was hoping they'd both come together. Star to guide us. Oh, I have got another quest. Oops. Um. Oh. I was hoping that they would both come. When Nala said we'll both come, I was actually hoping they'd come together. But it seems not. Okay, never mind. Why don't I just go up this side? Why do I keep going up the, the other side and across and then down? <laughs> I forgot we had two sets of stairs. I keep going up the other side. <laughs> never mind. Right, uh, let's go and speak to... Is he still... Yeah, he must still be through through here. I didn't want to run past him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Glad you're here. Hey, Tezza. Nala told me that something was bothering you. Oh, yeah. I guess it is everything that happened with the hyenas. Well... It just brought back a lot of memories, and now I'm feeling a little lost. <laughs> My friend Rafiki likes to bop me on the head with his walking stick when I get like this, just to knock some sense into me. Ugh. I wish you were here to do that now. Anything I can do to help? I'm a good listener, you know. Want me to bop you over the head instead? <laughs> hmm. You've helped a lot already, Ugh. but I don't know if you're going to be able to help with this. I just keep thinking about my father, Mufasa. Uh -huh. I'm pretty new at being king. There are so many decisions. So much is at stake. <sighs> I wish my father were here to help me and give me advice. I'm sorry, Simba. I wish I could do something. Maybe I can give you advice instead. I'm a great advice giver. That's fine. I'm sorry, Simba. He told me something once. <sighs> something about... Hey, why don't I just show you? Follow me. 
thing. Okay, let's follow Simba. Oh, stuck on a... I don't know what that is. Rock or something. When I was young, my father told me that the great kings of the past looked down on us from the stars. I believe it. There's something magical about stars. Actually, they're balls of gas burning billions of miles away. <laughs> Actually, they're fireflies that got stuck stuck up there. I believe that. When I look up at them, I know my father was right. <laughs> it's nice to think that those who come before are always up there guiding us. <sighs> if I could just see them, I'd know what to do. Uh -huh. But I can't. Look, there are too many clouds. <sighs> I haven't been able to see the stars for a few nights now. Every time I look up at them, it's cloudy. Wait, how long has it been happening? Oof. Now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I saw the stars. That's pretty weird. I wonder if something magical is going on. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, no worries. This might be a bit tough to explain. But I think I know somebody who might be able to help. I'll go talk to Malin and see if he knows what might be going on. Thanks. I think oh, at, least I, at least I can exit there. I <laughs> not have to go all the way back. Right, okay, let's find Malin. Just, I'm just gonna look at the map. Where is Merlin? Oh, okay, he's down near the house. Okie dokie. Oops. Little night thorns everywhere again. I, I had a. Oh, oh he's moved. All right now, we have work to do. There he is. All right, he. Things. Well, they always seem to have a bit more magic when you're around, Tether. Outstanding. Okay. Hmm. I get the peculiar feeling that you've stumbled upon yet another magical mystery. Oh, quite miraculous. And considering where you've been, I surmise it involves lions. Well, uh, have I some <laughs> surmised correctly? Yes, you have. You know that. Extraordinary. Uh huh. Do tell me more. I passed through that door in the castle and found myself in a new realm, somewhere in a jungle. I met Simba there, but he won't come back to Dreamlight Valley unless I can help him see the stars. He wants to get some guidance from the great kings of the past. That shouldn't prove too difficult. There's almost nothing as consistent as the stars. Simply wait for night and then, well, look up. That's the problem. Simba can't even remember the last time he saw the stars. It's always cloudy. I think something strange is going on. Possibly something magical. Uh. That is a bit odd, but I suspect I know the explanation. Oh. The realms that you visit are worlds the villagers created when they needed to escape Dreamlight Valley. Like slipping into a dream of some place you once knew long ago. The realms are tied to their memories and their feelings. Oh, yeah. It's possible that the sky in Simba's realm is clouded precisely because his memories of the, his father are clouded with uncertainty. So how do I help him? Simba will need some magical aid and some help with his troubles. You'll have to start by creating some sort of object to channel the spell. Something that holds meaning to Simba. Hmm, but what kind of object would hold meaning to a lion? A cat toy? Maybe a platter full of grubs. Something from his past? Yes, precisely. Wait, I've got it. Simba mentioned someone bopping him over the head with a walking stick to knock some sense into him. <laughs> that sounds like precisely what you'll need. Just the sight of it might be enough. Next, you'll need to infuse it with purified nightshards. Once you've done that, find the 
point in the jungle nearest the sky, point the walking stick towards the clouds and command them to part. Be careful though, this is dangerous magic. You'll be influencing the very fabric of reality in the realm. It'll be worth it to help Simba. There you Thank you. You're very Okay, kind. craft Rafiki's walking stick. So, okay, um, looks like I'm not going to get Simba today because it's already been an hour. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft me, Rafiki's dear. walking stick and then hey, maybe I will get um, Simba in my next video. Um, I think because I've still got some of the um, event, um, the duty, star path duties I can do. I can do the last shift at the restaurant. I can. Um, I'm not really sure how to cook Sleeping Princess's, like Sleeping Beauty's um, birthday cake, but I will have a go. I can chat to Nala now and I can get the rest of the red gems and the mushrooms that I need. So that's quite a few. I can do all of them apart from spend time with the King of Pride Rock. So I think I'll get on with those. Uh, carry on um, getting through all the quests um duties sorry and um then yeah i'll get simba next time um craft rafiki's walking stick and then that'll be the start of my next video will be um yeah getting simba to the valley i'm hoping that won't take too long once i craft the stick go back there point it to the stars and that'll be done and then that shouldn't take too long and then i am tempted to go to the Beat in the Beast realm next time, if I get time, depending on how long it takes for Simba to get here. So possibly that next time as well. But um, yeah, for now, um, Being I'll here wrap is it up. As so good as thank you very much for watching. Um, and I've got Nala, and I've, I've got Pride Rock. I'm so happy about Pride Rock. I really am. I honestly thought, oh, maybe it'd just be a cave because. Um, some of the other houses that I was expecting or how I was expecting them to look aren't what I was expecting so um, I did think oh maybe it wouldn't be Pride Rock um, because they mentioned about being at Pride Rock and going to the jungle away from it so I thought maybe they would just live in a cave so I am so so pleased with Pride Rock um, I might go and have a look have a proper look at it and um, have a look inside as well but um but yeah for now um I'll wrap this up and i'll be back again hopefully with another video so thank you very much for watching um if you want to continue watching and see who else i get to my valley and what i get up to then please subscribe and make sure you click the notifications on um so you'll get notified every time i upload a video and i will see you all again soon so um yeah Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye bye.